So welcome back to another Bitwig device. And this one is a little bit confusing. Uh, we're going to talk about the blur. Uh, it's a bit confusing because we think it makes something super specific and it's magical, but it's just very simple. It's just a delay. Now, as you know, you can create a whitening effect with a delay, setting the left uh, with a difference, a very short delay time and difference to the right. So on the blur, we just pretty much have that, uh, that. So if I turn this off and play the clip, this is my clip, right? So if, if uh, we look at the blur right here at the bottom, we can see that we have two in the left and two in the right. Of course, the ones uh, in the left are white and the ones in the right are uh, red. Now, right here, you can see this uh, arrow going to the left and then right looks like a recycled logo icon. So this one is the feedback. So yeah, and right here at the top, we get the time. So one millisecond to 100 or 300 milliseconds. So same thing, same, uh, same controls we get with a delay time and feedback. So it's just a delay with four different channels. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way down on this uh, channels, go all the way right here. So if I play the track, we get that. And if I turn this off and play it again, we just get the same, all right? So we just get nothing. Okay, so what is the point? So I'm gonna go and grab the number one, this one. And I'm going to go and start moving, moving this all the way up and notice that we are very in very short delay times. We are one millisecond. So as I move up, you're going to hear that something is going on. Notice the difference between the left speaker and the right speaker. And if you have some, he some headphones, now is the time to use them. I'm going to go up. All right, so as you can see, we have a tone. So it's like resonating or just vibrating. And this is what happens when you put two similar elements very, very close. They will start to interact each other. I'm not gonna get very technical, but we are getting this tone because the delay time is just super close. And, uh, and, they, and of course we get some feedback right here. So that's why we get a tone. Now, of course, this is now how, how we use the blur device. So if I go all the way to the right, you will need to listen to the, uh, to the left speaker and the right speaker. We're going to start to get a difference. So the one in the left starts uh, a bit a slightly uh, later because we are in 10 milliseconds. And if I go to absurd, we're going to get much more. Now again, notice that there is a feedback, right? Because this is just a delay, just a delay. Now, of course, if we want to go all the way back, we're going to start to get this crazy sounds. If you want to go and use it a little bit more in a normal scenario, I'm going to go to 10 milliseconds and put it right here, which is we don't have a lot of feedback. So now we get that widening effect because the right side sound, sounds in the normal tempo and we are delaying the left speaker 14 uh, milliseconds, maybe 10 milliseconds. That's why it sounds bigger. This is called has effect. Now, what is the trick? Why is this blur, you know, important? Because we could do easily do this with a delay. So the thing is that they give us four different channels. If I go all the way, uh, grab maybe the number one of the right, the, the color red, which is the one in the right side of these speakers, I'm going to go and maybe put it right here, which is for almost 40 milliseconds. I'm gonna go and play this. So now, of course, we're gonna to start to get a difference between the left and the right speaker because this one, it's uh, later, this one is earlier. And then we get the original uh, sound of the track, right? The thing is that when we do this, if we do something like this, uh, this the, uh, the sound, everything gets a little bit unbalanced, right? So it sounds like maybe, uh, not right. And that's why we get four because with this ones, with the other two, we can maybe put the red one where the white one is right here. And this one where the other one is, and we can balance the sound. Now it's good. Everything is going to sound a little bit more balanced. Of course, it sounds like crap, but we're, you know, we get a good balance now. Now, of course, what we can do, we can just move this a little bit uh, 
right here so we don't get such an aggressive sound or effect. I'm gonna go and put it right here. And now we get an instant, like super big and wide. Right, so all the things you can do, you can split this and you can maybe use right here, the one and the two, and then maybe the two right here and just split this, just bake this together. And the other one is gonna sound a little bit uh, uh, faster in the left and the other one a little bit uh, later on the right. So we get, a, get it more wide. So that's why you get four, so you can balance uh, the sound. If not, it will just sound pretty unbalanced. Now, another thing you can do with this, of course, you can use the mix just to blend it with the original sound. If it's too aggressive, look at the difference. Just doing this and using the mix control sounds like, you know, very mono in center, much more big. Now, of course, you can you you can use the do this uh, use this to create some weird effects. If I go all the way right here, we get more feedback. Remember, if you go all the way to the top, you start to get more feedback. And to balance this out, I'm going to use the number one. So right here with this ones, we get a very like wide effect because they are very short times and not a lot of feedback. But with the other ones, we get much more feedback. If I go crazy, right? It's a very cool device. Now, again, maybe you're thinking, couldn't we uh, do this with just with a delay? Maybe a delay four? Yeah, we do. We can. We could do this with a delay four. Now, if you remember Vidwick, uh, they give us a delay four because that's basically what we are doing. We are selecting very short times and a little bit of feedback and we can control the panning with this one. So yeah, we could easily uh, do this. The thing is that why complicate uh, ourselves using the delay four when we can easily do it with this, right? So this is the blur device. That's why you would use it. All right, I hope you had fun. Catch you on the next one.